Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. There are very special vehicles in the military called bridge layers. Their task is to provide heavy equipment with passage through rivers, ravines, and wetlands. Today, we will show you the 10 best military bridge systems in the world. PTA The PTA Modular Assault Bridge is also referred to as the Sprat. It was designed and is manufactured by CNIM Company to meet French Army requirements. This modular assault bridge was designed to support Leclerc main battle tanks. The PTA is based on a new 10x10 wheeled high mobility vehicle. It carries two 14.3 meter long MLC 70 class bridges, one on top of the other. Its combined length is 26 meters and it covers a gap of 24 meters. Alternatively, it can launch two short bridges individually, depending on the obstacle width. Each bridge section weighs 7.4 tons. Once launched, individually, each section can carry 120 tons. Once combined to span a 24-meter gap, the bridge can carry 80 tons. The PTA-2 can launch one section in three minutes and two sections in five minutes. Biber The Biber Combat Engineering Vehicle carries and deploys an assault bridge to aid friendly troops in the crossing of streams, anti-tank ditches, and other small obstacles on the battlefield. This armored bridge layer was designed to meet the requirements of the Bundeswehr. The Biber Armored Bridge Layer is based on a modified Leopard 1 main battle tank chassis. It is equipped with a bridge laying system instead of a turret. The bridge is made of aluminum and consists of two 11-meter sections. It has a length of 22 meters and can span a gap of 20 meters. The bridge can be laid under armor protection, even under fire on the battlefield. M3. The M3 amphibious rig was developed in Germany. It is an amphibious bridging and ferrying system used to carry tanks and other military vehicles across water obstacles. On roads, the M3 travels on four wheels. On water, the wheels are retracted and the amphibious rig deploys two large aluminum pontoons and transforms into a raft-type ferry. Pontoons can be deployed on the move. Two or more rigs are coupled within three minutes to create a ferry capable of carrying even the heaviest main battle tanks, such as the German Leopard 2A6 and British Challenger 2. Within 15 minutes, a total of eight amphibious rigs can be coupled together and form a 100 meter long bridge. It has a payload capacity of 85 tons for tracked vehicles and 132 tons for wheeled vehicles. PFM PFM is a bridging system providing continuous and discontinuous crossing of wet gaps for class MLC-80, including main battle tanks, armored vehicles, or civilian vehicles. Extremely easy to use, PFM requires no additional equipment such as boats, cranes, or earth movers for its deployment, and a 100 meter long bridge can be built in less than 30 minutes. To best fit the Army's needs, PFM has two configurations and can be set up as a bridge or a ferry due to its modular, autonomous, and motorized sections. It is an all-in-one product with no limitations in bridge length. The PFM has been in active service with the French Army. MTU-90 the MTU-90 Armored Bridge Layer is designed to launch bridges for tanks and other combat vehicles across trenches and water obstacles in combat conditions. The MTU-90 is based on a modified T-90 main battle tank chassis. This MBT is in service with Russia. This bridge layer is fitted with an MLC-50 load class three-part bridge that is launched over the front of the chassis. 
The bridge has a total length of 25 meters and covers a gap of 23 meters. The bridge can carry loads of up to 50 tons. The MTU-90 launches a bridge within two to three minutes. The MTU-90 can launch a bridge in day or night and all weather conditions. This combat engineering vehicle is fitted with night driving equipment. K-1 AVLB The K-1 AVLB is a combat engineering vehicle designed to launch, carry, and retrieve assault bridges. It was developed to meet operational requirements of the South Korean Army by Rotom and Vickers Defense Systems, now BAE Systems. This combat engineering vehicle is based on a modified K-1 main battle tank chassis, with its turret removed and replaced with a bridging system. This combat engineering vehicle carries an MLC-66 class scissors type bridge. The bridge has a length of 22 meters and can span a gap of up to 20 and a half meters. The bridge has a payload capacity of 66 tons and can be crossed by wheeled or tracked military vehicles. The bridge itself weighs 12.7 tons. EFA The EFA is an amphibious bridging and ferrying system used to carry tanks and other military vehicles across water obstacles. This amphibious rig can be used as a ferry or as a bridge when deployed in series. It was developed by CEFA to replace the previous Geloy system in service with the French Army. This amphibious rig has a light welded aluminum alloy hull and scissor type ramps. During traveling, on-road ramps are folded on top of the vehicle. Before entering the water, the EFA deploys hinged flaps on each side and the floats are inflated by compressor. When used as a ferry, it has a payload capacity of 70 tons. It can carry one Leclerc MBT, two AMX-30 MBTs, or four armored personnel carriers. When used in conjunction with other EFAs as a floating bridge, one unit has a span of 23.6 meters. Four units can be coupled together in less than 10 minutes to form a 100 meter long bridge. M60 AVLB the M60 AVLB, or Armored Vehicle Launched Bridge, was introduced in 1987. It was designed to launch bridges for tanks and other wheeled combat vehicles across trenches and water obstacles in combat conditions. It is in service with the U.S. Army and Marines. The chassis of the M60 AVLB is almost identical to that of the M60A1 main battle tank, though the turret has been removed and replaced with a bridge launching system. The scissors type bridge weighs over 13,000 kilograms and is made of aluminum. It has a length of 19 meters and can span a gap up to 18 meters. On the vehicle, the bridge is carried, folded, and launched over the front hydraulically. An emplaced bridge is capable of supporting wheeled and tracked vehicles with a total weight of up to 60 tons. Samur. The Samur amphibious rig was developed by the Turkish FNSS company to meet requirements of the Turkish military. It is a military bridging and ferrying system used to carry tanks and other vehicles across water obstacles. It is based on the FNSS PARS 8x8 armored personnel carrier chassis. On roads, the Samur travels on eight wheels. When afloat, the wheels are retracted into the hull in order to minimize drag and increase amphibious speed. The amphibious rig deploys two large aluminum pontoons and transforms into the raft-type ferry. A single rig has a payload capacity of 21 tons for tracked vehicles. Multiple Samor rigs can connect to form a larger ferry or a floating bridge. A typical amphibious bridging unit will contain 12 Samor rigs. All of these rigs can be coupled together to form a floating bridge with a maximum length of 150 meters. Coupled rigs have a payload capacity of 70 tons for tracked vehicles and 100 tons for wheeled vehicles.
Liguan The Liguan Bridge Layer is a tracked, wheeled vehicle launched assault bridge used for crossing obstacles and small water courses. It was designed and developed by KMW, initially for the German Army. The Liguan Bridge Layer system is designed to be configured into different forms as required. It can be configured either as two 26-meter bridges with a maximum width of 40 meters or two 14-meter bridges to reach a maximum width of 20 meters. The fully automatic laying system aboard the Liguan allows the operator to lay the 14-meter bridge within 5 minutes and 26-meter bridge in 6 minutes. The Liguan bridge layer system takes about 8 minutes and 7 minutes to roll back the 26-meter bridge and 14-meter bridge respectively. That's all friends, thanks for watching, write in the comments which of the bridges you liked the most. Also click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.